Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice of the face behind the icon, and you're in for another episode of A Week in Life of Us. It is Tuesday, um, Monday. I actually got a, a stay-at-home day, and it went by so very quickly. Just trying to get enough hay for Hades here. Let's see. This one for the Hermes. Um, but yeah, it's Tuesday, August 8th, 2023, which means I'm 31 today. Yay. Hey, Ella. So it is Wednesday now. Just did a technical rehearsal. I have no idea how much of yesterday got left there, but hey, it was my birthday. Now I'm a mighty 31 today. Well, 31 yesterday. I'm 31 in a day today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But one of those things of like, we did our tech rehearsal today. Now I'm waiting for Danielle uh, to get here so we can go and get some food together. Um, yeah show's coming together pretty good. I'm excited to go back to our other theater. I'm not excited for the amount of work it's going to take to get our other theater back together, but it's going to be worth it. So that's it for the rest of my day. And let's see, what did Philly went on? Ezzy's sick, unfortunately. We've been having issues with her food. Uh, she hasn't been putting on a lot of weight because, you know, she's always really skinny. Uh, so we have her on a special food now. She threw up it, it the other day. We didn't just, you know, force her into it. This has been a transition for a couple of days, but she uh, had an upset stomach yesterday of just not being able to keep food in and water. So we're really watching that. She seems okay today, starting in small increments, going upwards. Um, so we're just trying to keep an eye on that. But that's life now, for now, at least. So we'll see you guys later. All right, good morning, everybody. Not that you're gonna be able to see it from that quick clip, but I was already at work this morning. It is Thursday. And uh, I was at work, we were getting ready to do some technical run-through stuff, and I look and I see that I got a phone call, and I was like, oh, maybe they'll leave a message. I forgot my f voice message was not set up yet. I fixed that. Um, and I looked, and I was like, I don't know the number. And then I got an email from the people who are doing my septic system to inform me that they hit my parents' brand new, almost quarter of a million dollar RV with a dump truck. She can't explain to me how bad the damage is because she doesn't know because she's just the office person. All I can say is that I don't think I've ever been more disappointed in a company in my life. There should have been no reason they were that close to the RV to begin with. It's not near the driveway close it's not near enough to the driveway where all of a sudden something happened it's not anywhere near where they should have been doing the septic system so they've got insurance and stuff it's just stuff that we don't need to deal with but I have to go now and figure out okay do I need to tarp the RV so that we don't make more damage like what is going to happen So, you guys will see it when I do. So, onward we go, and it's not like I had work or anything to do today. 
So I'm running home to grab some keys for the RV because uh, I need to get inside. Um, I will show you the damage once I'm back there. I was a little too flabbergasted to get you any video once we were there. Um, I thought maybe they had hit it and maybe scratched the side, maybe a small hole. Um, he hit on the right side right where our fridge and heater is and probably leaking propane now. It, it, it is a massive hole. The RV itself was dragged five feet. I measured it. Uh, he dragged it five feet. So it's not just a hit. It hit and then pushed five feet to the left. Uh, uh, one door, our propane door is completely crushed in. The furnace is ripped out. I can see that the fridge has been moved inward and it looks like it's ripped up our floor. Um, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars it's going to be to fix this. Um, I, I, I can't believe it. I'll, I'll get you pictures once we're there, but what had happened and how it had happened, it should never have happened. He should have never been over there. He acknowledges that. And I feel bad because he's probably going to lose his job over this. Um, and that's just me assuming. I, I, I don't want him to. Um, but usually if you if you cost if you cost the boss man tens of thousands of dollars, uh, usually they're not happy. And we're talking high tens because the whole wall is going to be replaced. New fridge, new wall system. I'm going to need somebody to jack it up and check the frame underneath because it was pushed and dragged. Thank God I didn't have the jacks down uh, to keep it secure. Um, I told them to tarp it, but that for, for that, they're going to have to rip off the things that are dangling. It, it's, it's a mess. It is a complete disaster. And I'm, I'm so angry, disappointed and sad because again, it's just things. Nobody was hurt. Thank God. Um, this was my mom's crown jewel was being able to buy this RV and we've had nothing but problems with it. It is a piece of crap because there's so many pieces that are just broken on it, on the inside, but stuff that was able to be fixed. Leaky pipes, you know, hoses being hooked up wrong. That's small stuff. This, this isn't small stuff. Um, so I, I, I don't even know what to do at this point and I've got to get back to work for one. So, it's 10.43 now. I'm going home grabbing keys. And I'll show you guys once I'm back there. Okay. Here's the driveway. Goes up. That's our access road. You can see that he's been using it. As he makes our leech field. This is the road that he took up. I don't know why. There's no clear way to be able to get to the site. Those logs have still been there. And the RV was originally sitting here. You can see where the tire tracks were. And it was pushed five feet in one direction. This is it. Completely busted the fridge. This part of the wall. It's going to have to be ripped off to be able to tarp this. Furnace is disconnected and hanging out. Hopefully not leaking any gas. I'm actually going to... I can't open the door to be able to get to the gas. To try to emergency shut that off. I'm gonna turn off power. And if you can see they got pushed this way. You can actually see inside the closet there, so you can see inside. Same thing down here, you can see the bunched up floor inside. Uh, broke the supports of the wall here in the cabinetry. Uh, smashed through this, all the insulation. No idea if any of these tubes are damaged. Inside, worried about the rim and the tires being pushed. Scratches broken. Broken LED light there, busted door there. If we come inside, handle's still there. If we come inside, doesn't get any better. You can see right through. Busted this door, busted off the wall, three to four inches at some spots. That bar is luckily still in. Push this cabinet. Up, you can see where it's pushing up the ceiling panel. Pushed all of this up. You can see where it's pushing into the ceiling here as well. Uh, there's a dent on the roof. You can see where it's pushed up. Um, fridge is totaled. Floors needs to be completely replaced. 
um, that's been unfortunately this is one solid piece so that all got ripped up this got completely smashed and broken this wall this wall is no good this door still kind of opens you come in and shower's been knocked over broken busted busted wall no idea if the plumbing's any good you can actually see that it's not sitting straight in here anymore at all busted here busted there this cabinet looks like it's a little wonky as well but i, I can't yeah that that cabinet's been pushed as well it doesn't look like to be any thing in my parents room for damage like this wall gone this wall been sh this whole wall has been shifted you can actually see where it was Good morning everybody it's Saturday just like every Saturday we're heading to the property to work on the house I'm thinking today we're gonna get the last row on and I'm pretty sure that's my target for the day we gotta cut the tops off of a couple of them so that they fit it's what's in the plan so it's not like I'm going crazy here um, and uh, yeah that seems to be our day. We still have not heard from the insurance people for the people who hit the RV. So a little upset about that to be 100% honest. But oh well. We'll have our insurance start doing it and then I can sue them. <laughs> Alright, heading to the property. See you guys in a bit. Alright, we got the last row up. Now it's time to build walls and second floor. And then we build peaks here and here. This is Danielle for scale in case anybody's wondering. It's actually really tall. <laughs> and I'm really short. A, B, C, D, D E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N. Right here, right at the bottom of this, this is where our second floor starts. So I'll be able to touch the ceiling in our house. <laughs> but it's up. We're very happy and very proud. Now I'm hoping if I can get some good swing of everything I will actually be able to get the walls up starting this week maybe finish this week at least the walls and start getting the second floor up there so we can start building up super excited about it and uh, yeah we'll see you guys later <laughs> 